Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial. So, last tutorial I worked on this item sorter here and I've added another cell, we'll talk about that in a little while. I was explaining how all this works and it wasn't really making sense even to me. So, what I want to do is I want to explain this and I've got some stuff set up over here. We're going to go through this a little bit better. And we're going to talk about stackable items, items that stack to 16, and then non-stackable items as well. So I've got all of our little filters in here. <laughs> Subliminal message, subscribe. Um, and all these hoppers, and we're going to talk about redstone signals and how everything works and why. So you can see that automatically there's a, a signal strength of 1 going through all these hoppers with just the filters in them now. So if we place in some items, let's get ourselves 41. There we go. This is now going to emit a redstone signal of 2. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Easy, easy. Now if we put one more item in to 42, that's where we get our signal strength of 3. And that's how the item sorters work. As soon as there's more than that, it only emits a redstone signal strength of 3. If it's full of items and all that. Now I was testing some of this out and found that if you put in a stack of 16 items, 10 of them, a signal strength of 2, just like before. If we throw in one more, we get our signal strength of 3. And then if you throw in the entire stack, it's never more than a signal strength of 3. So we can use this and build sorters for these two items here regardless. Now if we throw in a non-stackable item here, we're going to get an instant redstone signal strength of 3. Which we can use that to our advantage as well. So, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, if we were to fill this hopper up with the 64 and 4 items, like it was spread out, like it was filters, you can see that the signal strength is ever only three. It comes across three, comes across three. It never touches these corners here. And that's what allows us to be able to stack this item sorters or these item sorters in modules. If we were to ever get a signal strength of four, they would start interacting with one another. As you can see here, as I put one more item in, it gets the signal strength of four. This would start unlocking the hoppers and stuff next to this filter causing a mess. So basically, this amount of items only gives a signal strength of 3, allowing each one of these to never work with the other one. So <laughs> anyway, I set this up like we were doing a basic uh, mob farm. Okay, We got some dust, we got some ender pearls, we got some bones, and, and some arrows. And all this stuff is full up, and then we have a chest over here with some non-stackable items. So, we can set up a system that sorts all this stuff out. We're going to grab 22 of each of these items, 500 pearls, and some non-stackable stuff. We're going to throw them in the chest and watch them sort themselves out. Literally. Um, hopefully that was a little more informative of why things were working. I was watching another video on items that stack to 16, or trying to figure that out, because I've never really messed with it. And the person I was watching didn't understand um, why this all worked. But you can see the signal strength comes down here, powers off the torch for this module, everything else is locked. It's not interacting with this side. Makes it easy for us to sort. And there you saw the next one come on. So side by side you can put your items that stack to 16, you can put your items that stack to 64 all right next to one another. For the non-stackable item sorter, which we're going to build here in just a minute, you have to give a gap. So we've got 21 of every item, there should be 4 in here, and that's because 1 gets circulated in right here, like so, and then our non-stackable items should be in here. Awesome, and then we should have some buttons and some rotten flesh. Perfect, so our, our system's working. So basic, you know, starter farm, everything's going. You can come in here, 
and sort through the bows and stuff like that. Um, eventually you'll want to just throw it away. So this is a very easy circuit. It uses the exact same materials as the stackable items, just in a different configuration. We have a, a two redstone dust there because single items or items that stack to 64 and items that stack to 16 only give a signal strength of one as it passes through the hopper. Meaning we need a signal strength larger than one to turn this torch off, effectively unlocking the hopper. So I don't have a chest set up of all the items. It is the same items as before. <laughs> Three pieces of redstone dust, two redstone, or one redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, and one torch. So let's, let's build a little bit of a hopper chain. Boop, 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 like so. We'll just make it look like, okay, this is our sorting system. The big difference is you, from your input line is where you read your comparator signal. And you want to make sure that this would be your, your item sorters and then a space and then your non-stackable item sorter. So we want blocks like so. Redstone dust, a torch here, then the dust here, running into a block, and then a repeater here. That's it. That is your non-stackable item sorter right there. So if we delete this guy, and we'll put in a single item, you can see that even if a few stack up in this hopper, that it's only given a signal strength of one. So it won't turn the torch off, won't unlock this hopper. If we put, um, let's grab something. Do, 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 do. Items that stack to 16 like eggs, we throw a few in there. Well, we'll throw one in there. It would be passing through the hopper. It only gives a signal strength of one. So that's how you can stack all this stuff next to one another and have it working very nicely. Very quick system. You saw it shut off there. And that item is now down here. So there it is, guys. There's a non-stackable item sorter. There it is implemented into a whole sorting system. And I hope this was a little more informative. I hope you guys gained something from this. Um, I hope it was <laughs> explanatory enough. Is that the right word? I don't know. But anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.